Hey everybody, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to generate specular highlights using the specular maps in FSX. So you're going to sort of have the, well, this kind of effect really. Looks pretty, huh? Don't know what's wrong with my frame rates. What is wrong with my frame rates? 11? Wow. So sort of look down like that, there we go. More frame rates. Okay, so yeah, this is a tutorial that's going to give you this sort of specular highlight from the sun on your uh, models. Okay, let's jump straight in. Okay, so I've got a very basic model here. It's just a square piece of material, all textured with the same thing, and that texture is um, your sort of generic tarmac looking stuff. There is our specular highlight, and that sort of determines where the sun is. So the specular highlight is the sun, so from that sort of direction, it should be coming across here, but that's model converter actually never going to change that. Anyway, so let's have a look at this texture. Nice and close. That's too close. There we are. So it's quite a high definition texture. There's a bit of a... some definite surface differences going on there, these grooves going straight up. So the way you want to make that is by using Photoshop or an image editor like Photoshop, just go like that, take it back to what it used to be. So this is that texture, and this texture currently is, it's got colour in there, so we're going to get rid of the colour. Control Shift and U, and that turns it into a grayscale image. You can also go into Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate. So this is the start of our specular texture. Now, the bright points on a specular texture will um, be the shiny points under the sun. So they're the points that are going to sparkle the brightest. You're going to be able to get that. In this case, what we want to do is make this texture so it just sort of lights up a little bit under the sun. Because, obviously, tarmac isn't that shiny. It is when it's wet. So let's go ahead and use the brightness and contrast. Make sure Use Legacy is ticked and turn the contrast up until you're happy with it. I'm happy with that. That's fine. I'm going to go back into brightness and contrast, turn off, use legacy, and bang the contrast up a bit more just to give us a bit of definition in there. And just last but not least, let's make sure we desaturate the image again. And we're going to save it. Save it as PNG, overwrite the one I've already made. Okay, apparently I can't save it, so let's save it as a PNG. Go into our flight sim libraries, pop it into temp scenery, into the texture folder, and it's going to be called uh, Gen. It's going to be called that. Yes, overwrite that. There we go. Okay, that's saving. Now this texture is too big for FSX and P3D, so let's go ahead and resize things. So Got it in here, let's go like that, like that. Right, so now we've made our specular texture. It's as simple as turning it to grayscale and highlighting the points and highlighting the dark points, sort of. Um, emphasizing the shadows and illuminating the lighter points. What you make in that sense, the light, the lighter the specular texture, the more brightly it will glow. So click on the material, click on specular texture, little button there that one. And let's find the specular texture we want to use. It's PNG. Okay, so let's go back. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. This is our specular texture. Now once we apply it, you're going to notice things will look terrible. Like terrible. Really, really bad. See what I mean? Really bad. Not nice at all. Not what we're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that, continue with the material we're working with, and go and turn off uh, the base material specular. So no base material specular wants to be true. And we're going to come down here to the special functionality. Now this is where we can edit how this specular texture is used. You can even add a fren uh, Fresnel map if we want to do a Fresnel ramp. And it's pronounced Fresnel, not Fresnel. <laughs> the N is silent. No way, the S is silent. N silent? Yeah. 
It's Fresnel. Nicholas Fresnel, like that, you know? So this is our specular power map scale. This will affect how we see the specular. Right now it's set to zero, which means the specular is as powerful as it will ever be, no matter what the lighting conditions are, unless it's of course nighttime. So no matter what the lighting conditions are, we're going to see the specular map being used. So now we're going to change that. I like to use a number between 30 and 50, but that's your preference entirely. For this one we're going to use 30, and that gives us that. So now the specular map only shows up under the specular highlight. It's quite nice. I like where it's going. Now because I already have this model in FSX, I'm just going to save the specular map and transfer it over. So that's all I'm going to do. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. Whereas what you'd want to do is obviously export the object, put it into a library and test it. Um, if you're going to be using this on ground polygons, then I suggest you um, make the model first without the specular maps. Don't worry about them. And then when you come to export the ground polygon using the ground poly wizard in MCX, add the specular highlights, then tweak all the textures while you're doing that there. Because then they export like a lot more freely. So this is all done. I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite those textures as DXT. And I'm going to bring it into FSX. Oh, it's not saved. Is it saved? Did it work? Continue. Did it, did it load? I think it loaded. Hopefully it loaded. Anyway, right, so no longer need Photoshop. Why do I keep doing that? No longer need Photoshop open. No saving. No saving. Oh. Right, all I need to do is add those textures. So it's that one there. Just bring that in place. See, I've been experimenting with this uh, particular specular map for a while now. As you can see, it's wanting me to copy and replace, so I'll do that. Let's spool up Flight Simulator. Don't start, kitty. Right, so that's Flight Sim started. Let's jump into the sim. Now, this model has been placed just off the coast of uh, Malaga in Spain. Uh, the reason why I place it there is because it's well out of the way. It's in the ocean, so you can see the ocean specular highlight, and you can also see that highlight carry over to uh, the model. So, let's go flying. Go for dawn and just change the time until it's uh, the image display turns to day. So, 39, that's fine, and fly now. So, this model has a hard surface as well, so I can land on it, at least. But I'm going to show you just, uh, just quickly how this will look now. So, I'm going to recap while this is loading. Specular maps are made by using a grayscale. So, you gray the image out so it's got no color in it at all, and then you emphasize the dark spots and emphasize the light spots. You can do all that with the simplest tools in Photoshop, just the brightness, the contrast, and the using legacy. And uh, well that can pretty much do it all for you. Obviously you can use the lighting tools and whatnot in Photoshop as well, if you're having a bit of trouble. So let's come back here. I don't know what's going on with the, like, the stripey bumps there, but still. Let's get down here, a bit more, a bit more, that'll do. Okay, so now I'm on the model. It's the hard surface, and there's my specular highlight. Let's go over to the ocean, shall we? Let's go see our ocean. Looks very nice. I do I do appreciate the way this looks, I really do. <laughs> Quite a high model actually. I forgot how high I made that. 
about four meters off the ground. Okay, let's zoom out. Yeah, now see the effect. So yeah, that's exactly how you do it. It's quite a simple method. It's really easy once you know what you're doing. And the only thing you need to remember, really, is to obviously um, apply a specular map power scale in Model Converter X. Now that's how you get that effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'll be going through how to apply this to ground polygons in uh, P3D in a couple of days time, maybe a week or two. Uh, depends on when I actually get the time to do the tutorial, so please don't hold me to it. Um, yeah, anyway, if you like this tutorial, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, as always, I am Mark from Soulfly Concepts. Sorry it's taken a while to get this one out. Um, I've forgotten your name, the person that requested it, but it's now here, and of course you can see what to do. So yeah, there you go. Specular Maps. Like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me your money, and of course, be happy.